Right, good morning. Welcome to this week's video. Welcome to the Suffolk coast and what a beautiful day it is today as well. I'm uh, out with Ginge who's just behind us somewhere there. We're just going to spend the day down on the beach. I've got my push net with me. I'm going to try and catch some shrimps and have a little bit of a cook up on the beach. <laughs> My favorite place to be is right here Not thinking about what brings me down, yeah My favorite way to be without fear Is in the now, I'm learning how Fast like no thanks, no I'm Doing just fine, one foot in another Floating, enjoying my free a bit of a swell actually so I'm not so sure whether I'm going to be able to use the older push net it might just have to be boiled egg sandwiches for lunch instead of shrimp and egg sandwiches but yeah so it's a bit of a walk along here but it's absolutely beautiful as you can see it's just absolutely gorgeous little place to be very very popular in the summer very difficult to get a parking space Hence the reason we've come out early today and also to get the low tide as well. Right, so we're not too far now, just got to walk through the trees and we'll be down on the beach. Right then, so here we be, down at Cove Hive on the beach. This is probably one of my most favorite places in the world, this. Out of everywhere I've lived, everywhere I've been, this is one place that always draws me back. It's just so peaceful, it's just so sort of, sort of windswept and just, just battered. It's just an absolute gorgeous, gorgeous place. Right, so we're down here push netting today. I thought I'd take Ginge down here and just show him this beach and have a go at catching some shrimp. So I'm using my good old faithful push net. Bit of a lockdown project this was. Um, but I will get round to actually making a video of how I actually done it. So uh, we'll get this all set up. I'll get my waterproof trousers on because I'm feeling a bit of a pansy about getting wet today. And uh, let's go see whether we can get any of those little crustaceans that I think are probably one of the best seafood in the world. Right, see you in a bit. Happy hunting. Right, let's see how we get on. Hello, Missy. What are you doing here? Hey, what are you doing here? It's literally one after the other and that is it. We haven't got many. We're not doing too well at all. It's literally just one in a net and that is it. I hope uh, Ginger isn't that hungry. He could do losing some weight anyway. I'm gonna give it a couple more goes. Then my blooming leg is killing me. My sciatica is really, really playing me up today. But uh, we'll give it another couple of five, 10 minutes or so. And uh, we'll just have to unfortunately cook up 10 shrimps instead of about 200. Hey ho. 
it is what it is. I mean, the wind's blowing up now and uh, it's starting to get a bit choppy here, so it's not very easy. I'm more wet inside my waterproof trousers than what I am on the outside. Well, there's not a great deal of them. Marley's more interested in them. Well, we just had a count up and there's uh, about eight and a half <laughs> shrimps in there, so not a very good day today, but I will boil these up and we'll have these on there. But Ginger could do with the diet anyway, so it sort, yeah, of, it sort of helps out that's, a little that's bit. Came along. <laughs> it's just such a shame. You can come down here on a day and literally you're pulling 20, 30 shrimps out of a net there and it doesn't take long for you to, uh, to fill your basket up, but uh, as I say, the, the winds changed direction and come a bit stronger now, so it's, uh, it's a little bit uh, difficult to do it on the sandbank there, and I've been swamped uh, with water anyway. But we'll boil these up, when we'll get some eggs done as well, and we will have a little bit of a sandwich. Right, so I've got to cook up in the good old faithful Swedish Army Trangia. This is an absolute workhorse of a stove. This is, I absolutely love it. If it was a little bit lighter, it'd be in my bag pretty much all the time there. But I just love the fact you can use a fire in it, you can use your mess burner in it, you can you can fry, you can cook, you can oven. It's just, it's just an amazing, amazing bit of kit. So we'll get this all set up and uh, let's get our massive meal on the go. come to the surface that is a pitiful pitiful <laughs> that is a, thank god we haven't got to survive on these I've got to be careful that the wind don't blow them away right so I've got to just peel these I'm just going to show you how to peel them there is a knack to them they are very very small as you can see they're half the size of what a prawn is but there is a knack to peeling these these tiny things is I'm left-handed I hold the body in my left hand and with the head it's just one side and then the other side and then give the head to the dog and then if you turn it over holding the tail spread that out squeeze the tail or just move the body back and forth and then squeeze the tail and then pretty much all of that comes off and then all you've got to do is just put your fingers either side of the, the legs and then pretty much everything comes off So as you're the guest ginge, you can have the shrimps. Thank you so much. I think we should have one shrimp. Right, I'll need one then. It's really funny when you're pushing that thing, you look like a single mother pushing a pram up here. <laughs> Was it worth it? Probably not. Well, you know, it was. It's nice just to come down and, and do this sort of thing. Okay, didn't have too many shrimps, but hey ho, plenty of eggs. It's been a really cracking day to come down and enjoy the beach down here. It's a shame the wind's blowing up now, but uh, it is still a beautiful, beautiful place. So I'm hoping to come down here again and do another video where we will be doing another cook up with some shrimps. Hopefully, touch wood, fingers crossed, if we catch any. So uh, please do subscribe so you can get notified when that video comes out. I'll stick a couple of videos up there for you to take a look at if you fancy it. And we'll see you next time on the next one.